Pilot coming out. National Geographic explorer in residence, James Cameron, has finished a record dive to the deepest part of the Earth's oceans. Welcome back. Outstanding. The Challenger Deep, which is only a small part of the Mariana Trench, is something like 50 times the size of the Grand Canyon. So, you know, this is a vast, you know, uh, uh, frontier down there that's going to take us a while to understand. The dive follows seven years of planning and the design and construction of a specialized state-of-the-art submersible for the deepest solo man dive in history. The whole sub actually squeezes down uh, almost three inches in length uh, when it gets to the bottom of the ocean just because of the pressure. And the sphere that I'm in actually actually shrinks. The, the window that I look out actually pushes in toward me under 16,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Cameron spent more than three hours in the lowest point of the Mariana Trench, about seven miles down, filming and documenting what he saw and taking samples. It was very lunar, a uh, very desolate place, very, uh, very isolated. Uh, my, my feeling was one of complete isolation from all of humanity. I mean, I felt like I literally in the space of one day have gone to another planet and come back. Armed with an eight-foot panel of LED lights and several cameras, Cameron will be able to share with the rest of the world a part of the planet that is virtually unknown. Many of the animals that live there are adapted to this extreme pressure, this total darkness. They're usually white, they have no pigment, some of them have eyes to see uh, bioluminescence, some of them have no eyes at all. Uh, it's, com it's a completely alien world. Cameron is the first human to reach the deepest point of the Mariana Trench in more than 50 years.